Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida, where it's a beautiful day, about 82 degrees, a little breeze, not as much humidity. Fall is finally kicking in down here in Central Florida. It's about time. I want to go over one drill today, and it's about the takeaway. It's one of the best drills I have ever done. I use it all the time. I've used it for over 20 something years and it is really important to understand how to do it and i'm going to go over some of the fine details with this drill i call it the rubber band drill there's difference of levels of intensity that you can do this drill but the idea is to get you to do a one piece takeaway and not do it with your hands okay so i've got a little setup station here where i got my feet where i know where i'm lined up think from a ball position and also down my line here back so i know i'm on the right path back and also through it okay one of the main things I see wrong with most amateurs and there's a lot of good players too I teach they tend to get real handsy with a the takeaway they'll take it inside or if they try to get their path right then they do it with their hands and they go this way and they get disconnected if we can get our upper bodies and our core and our hands to all work together like we said one piece takeaway that is the goal so I mean like my bag here that weighs 50, 60 pounds, I'll have people do that where they turn and give me something heavy because that's the motion we're wanting. This club weighs nothing and it's easy to just pick it up, do that with our hands and to trick ourselves to think of it being something heavy or even use the impact bag to do that where we just turn like this where you know it's something heavy and we gotta go this way. Or if I was throwing something back in a truck you know, I would use my big muscles, it would be that, I wouldn't just go like this. So I would like to get that idea into my students' heads when we take it back. We gotta treat this differently than just a golf club. All right, so I'm gonna show you the drill here. It's really a good drill. Okay, what I like to do is we get set up here. Normal grip, my leg's solid. I got an eight iron here, so I'm pretty much in the center of my stance. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to leave the club head on the ground there and I start cranking my core. I start moving this while I leave the club head there. And what I mean by the rubber band is, if I really get it intense, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I'll actually even have the shaft flex and, not, and I won't even know when the club's gonna go back. So that's like a rubber band that shoots through there and it goes back. I'm gonna do it a little bit more tame for this video so you can do it. And this is effective too. All right, so. I get this going, I'm starting with my core, my belly's turning, my head stand on the ball, and then I'm gonna let the club just go back. Now you notice how that's pointing at my belly and the club's back this way. Okay, so let me hit one here. Crank, 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 crank. And then bam. Okay, so that drill is to make sure that we don't start back with our hands. It's a great drill for a lot of people I teach because they do this too much. So again, club head stays there. I'm just gonna crank my chest. I'm turning my ribs, my belly, and then I'm gonna let it go and see how my hands stay in front of my body here. They're not behind my body. So if that club is pointing that way, that's disconnected. So if we can keep that, boom, 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 right here, and then we got a good chance to come inside out. Okay, I'm gonna show you down the line what it looks like, so here we go. All right, I wanna show you what it looks like from down the line so you can see my angles and see how when I take it back, it's on the proper swing plane. And uh, just give you a look at how my chest and my core is turning before I let the club head go back. Okay, so here's the look from down the line. Okay, I got the ball here, I'll move it just a little bit. Again, I got an eight iron, get my ball position in the middle. Okay, again, I'm gonna crank my chest, my stomach, and then my hands are going to move back slightly with the club head stand there, keeping my resistance with my legs, and then shoo, right there. Okay, so let's see how it looks hitting it. That was really good. You can see how that works inside. You know, try to get the arms loose with this. I've been doing it for years. I've actually played professional tournaments actually lagging it and doing this. Um, there's a lot of players uh, that have done it in time where they get this going just a little bit. 
it definitely can be a drill, but you can take it on the course and, and uh, apply it to what you're doing if you're having that problem of getting disconnected right off the bat. So this, I, I will give a series on this because this is just such a great drill to do and I want to get into more details with it, but I wanted to get you just started out with the basics and the idea and the framework of how to do it. So for more instruction and videos and vlogs and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.